What's up guys, Tyler here, welcome back to my Daily Blues TD6 upload, let's get right into it. Alright, tree stump, hard, we got some exciting stuff planned for you guys today, I actually can't wait to uh, get into this, I think it'll be really fun, I should actually buy a tower though before starting the round, huh? Freaking idiot I am, but we'll, we'll probably still be alright. So what are we doing today guys? So I am pretty sure, in this game, there is a blimp stronger than the ZOMG, oh yeah. So, you guys might have seen a purple blimp in the teaser videos that was like huge in, in like super late game. You guys may have also seen in Ninja Kiwi's app store preview that there was this thing called the BAD or the BAD. Give me a target. I think those two are one and the same. So there's a purple blimp called the BAD that is stronger than the ZOMG. Again, I don't know this. I've never seen this. I've never seen anyone see the uh, bad blimp so no one really knows what it is so hopefully we'll find out today or at least we'll try we'll try to get to late game and we'll try to make this work and uh, we'll hunt down a bad and hope that we can destroy it so here's the thing it's probably gonna come really really late so hard mode ends on round 80 with a single zmg no sight of the bad so if i had to guess when the bad shows up it's at wave 100 or later i bet I, yeah, I, that's, that's my only guess, and I don't even know how fast it is, how strong it is, what balloons it pops, if I had to guess, I bet it's a super slow, super huge, super strong blimp that drops either multiple ZOMGs or a bunch of purple balloons, because it's a purple blimp, that would kind of make sense at least. That's what I'm guessing. We'll see if I'm right by the end of this, or maybe we won't even. Uh, either way, we're going for it. So, doing a late game is actually going to be really tough in this, because we are a lowly level, what, 35, I think? 36? One of the two? Something like that? We're a low level. So, we have only one fifth tier upgrade, which we got accidentally. I'm actually not allowed to get those. Whoops. And we have a very limited amount of fourth tier upgrades. So, defending a late game is going to be so hard. It is going to be ridiculously hard. I don't even know whether we're gonna <laughs> be able to make it to the bad or not because the omgs and all that shenanigans just coming at you are, it's gonna be really tough either way we're gonna try to make it far and hope for the best basically yep leaking two lives that kind of sucks Seriously? usually i don't leak two lives on that round uh, i guess i got unlucky but eh, that's whatever so you guys might have noticed that i have uh, beaten this map on hard already that's because the uh, first time I tried recording this, I got to wave 95 and my recording got corrupted. So basically, I lost over an hour of Bloom's TV6 footage. I am still triggered about it, even though it happened a few hours ago. And I've been trying to make this work lately. I've been trying to salvage the footage to no avail. And I've just been trying to set up a different method of recording my stuff because my current recorder is a pile of garbage. It, it really is bad. I, I'm using a new recording recorder now, though. I'm not using the one I was using in the last video. I'm not using the one in which I lost the footage for. So it should hopefully Seriously? work out better for me. We'll see. I just wanted to let you guys know so you, uh, so you guys have to under so you guys can understand the stuff I have to go through when recording these videos. It is such a pain in the ass sometimes, I swear. But uh, I don't want to distract that from the amount of fun the BT6 is. At least you know we get to still play this game, have a good time, and hopefully this video will turn out. So we're moving on, and we got pretty decent farming farmage already. So what the heck is our strategy, guys? What are we doing? There's a lot I need to talk about. So first off, why did we get a Quincy so early? We got like a Dart Monkey, upgrading it, upgraded to the first tier like twice, two different first tier pass, Seriously? and sold it after two rounds for a Quincy. So the Quincy is a $755 tower that generates so much value. It is ridiculous the amount of value that Quincy generates. It becomes so strong that it's capable of like soloing oh, round 76 by itself with a single one of its abilities. So that's a, that's a strong tower. That works out really well. So the Quincy, it, it, it's good to get it down early because it upgrades itself over time, becomes a lot more powerful over time, and it'll just generate a bunch of value. Like I don't even have to pay for its upgrades. It's, yes. it's just so worth it. And I love it. It's a lot of fun to use too. Even y'all, despite the voice lines. Seriously? So then we got our nice. sniper here. So the sniper should be able to hit everything the Quincy doesn't hit, theoretically. So the Quincy is really bad against fast balloons like pinks and yellows. Like it keeps missing those, it keeps leaking those. It also has a bunch of random leaks. So the sniper here oh, is doing on. the job of catching the random leaks, or at least some of them, and hitting the strong balloons. So those kind of synergize together pretty well. Oh fuck, we missed the banana. Sorry about that. Um, We did miss a banana. 
and I'm kind of <laughs> kind of annoyed by that because I couldn't see the banana. It's so tiny and it was like faded. I wish bananas had like some outline on them or something or some easier way to see them. I don't want to have to get a monkey farmer it's just so I don't play suboptimally. I am Quincy. So Quincy. the sniper also does not have full map range. If you guys didn't notice, it, ha it, it has the view. It's view obstructed by these logs. Oh. So the, the logs are blocking the sniper's line of sight, making it so it can't shoot anywhere in the red shaded area, which is really actually really cool. It, it means you gotta actually plan out your sniper spot, and I think this is probably as good of a sniper spot you can get. I at least haven't found a better one. I tried down into the left. I thought that was gonna be better, but it really seemed to not work out well for me. So I really like this current sniper spot. Just a zero zero sniper is all I need. Cause Spike Back 3 is gonna be the king of catching leaks, even though there's still leaks getting through. But that just goes to show you that without the Spike Factory, we'd be leaking so much more. We'd be dead if it wasn't for that Spike Factory. So this guy is super helpful for yeah. real. All right, give me more bananas. It's kind of annoying when you tap bananas, you, you actually some? click off the, f or tap off the farm. That's actually really annoying, but there's not much you can do about it, so you just gotta suck it up and move on. A lot of balloons make it towards my spike factory, hopefully we don't leak. Looks like my spike factory is being a bro and saving my behind. Awesome. We'll keep going for this, we'll go for a third farm. Got two second tier farms already, which, you know, results in pretty good money. I'm hoping for even more pretty soon, though. You want some? We'll work on it. It'll be tough. These rounds are uh, certainly pretty difficult, though. We're going to do the ability now because there's purple loons coming in. I don't trust my purple defense. Also, these regrow yellows are a pain. They, uh, I'm, I'm not even doing any damage to them, which is really annoying. Because I'm hitting them in the regrow and back its yellows by the time they hit my spike factory. Oh, come which on. really stinks. Oh, I almost missed bananas. Holy crap, I just noticed that. I guess I literally got to be permanently hovering over the banana farms. They're like tapping over them. I'm just kind of swiping my fingers back and forth between banana farms right now. This, this this method is just really annoying. Plus, it doesn't tap on the banana farms when I want to. Maybe I should just bite the bullet get a monkey farmer so I don't have to complain about this anymore. After all, it's the purpose of the tower, but I just haven't bothered. Plus, I want to save my bananas for it continues in case I screw up like late in this run. All right, a lot of balloons coming here. Please slow down use the Quincy ability. Holy crap, okay. We're doing good. Holding off. This round is was a little scary, but we're doing great now. We're gonna get our sniper to full metal jacket so we can pop leads. Because that's our only lead pop and power right now. And now we are going to save up for a plantation. Plantations are expensive. They cost a whopping $36.70. So it's gonna take a few rounds to save up for it. But once we get it, I think it'll be worth it. I think it's worth doing it this way instead of going for another low tier banana farm. I might be wrong. Oh, we also got monkey knowledge points. I guess I should let you guys know that mo half the time after you rank up after level 30, you get a monkey knowledge. If you didn't know, the monkey knowledge was the thing in the main menu that I looked at, got super overwhelmed by. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna have anything to do with that now because there's just way too much going on. So that's the monkey knowledge. So basically it lets your towers become not trash or less trash, I, I suppose. Which is pretty interesting. I like the idea of it. I'm excited to see how that works out. I've right, got to have our sniper put in work right now. Get our plantation. And thankfully it didn't cost too much of a regrow farm. I don't think I'm actually going to dive into monkey knowledge though. Because I don't think there's a way to disable it. I kind of want to leave my monkey knowledge disabled. So I can do walkthroughs. Without making it impossible to follow. Like if you need a certain, certain level of monkey knowledge to complete a walkthrough. It's probably not going to end well for you. Yes. Anyways, I'm saving up for a helipod right now, if you guys didn't know. I'm trying yeah. to get that $1,600 upgrade. It's pretty costly, but it'll definitely come in handy. Do I need to activate the Quincy ability? I'm feeling a no from that. Yeah, we're handling everything just fine. And Quincy just leveled up. What next? He now shoots an exploding arrow every third shot. This guy is actually really good right now. You see how he's becoming a pop and power machine? The value on this guy is just crazy. We're gonna get our heli pilot. We're gonna just lock him in place right now. Like keep collecting our banana farms. We don't want our we don't want our heli pilot going over to banana farm land while we're collecting bananas. So leaving that lock in place is a reasonable idea now. We're gonna get another plantation. Then we're gonna get some razor rotors, and that should help defend very very well. Excited for that. And we'll just have enough pop and power to deal with everything, even moebs. So that'll just work out really well for us. Still gotta get the second plantation though. It's not cheap. Still a thousand bucks off. Like damn. Rainbows this round? I'm not really concerned. Was for a bit. Black balloons are gonna be tough though. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have this fall touch. I'm gonna have my helipod 
Mo goes just crazy around the map. Trying to snipe these random balloons. Gotta take advantage of its full map range. And have the sniper kind of pick off most of the black balloons. Have the helipod kind of clean up. I'm trying to have it maximize its popping power. But I can't get it to get in front of the balloons. Alright, it's in front of the balloons now. There we go. Holding off well. A little stutter there. That was kind of odd. Gonna move our helipod back to it was. This is, I think, the round with a bunch of pinks. Yeah, it is. We're gonna need that eventually. Also gonna want to save up for quad darts now that we actually have our helipod upgrade. We got quad darts right here right now. Come on! Whoa! We had. Do we actually leak? Uh, that's some. On. That's some bowl. That's actual bowl, guys. I'm honestly shocked we leaked it all to that. That's fine though. Uh, I guess our spike factor just wasn't enough. We'll just have our. Upgraded helipod do damage. We'll even get Pursuit on it, so I don't even have to worry about it anymore. Pursuit, Pursuit will be a lot more useful than what I did have. Now we're just going to save up for Razor Rotors because it is a popping machine. Literally. Didn't even intend to do that. But it's a really good tower. And once we get our expensive 1890, we'll be able to afford it and do a lot better. All right, let's get it right now. All right, so it doesn't detect camo right now. I guess I'll get camel on it so I don't die to camel balloons in the future. I think we're fine against camels now. Yeah. We'll get this. Then we'll start making our way towards the second razor rotor so we can yeah. hold off against Moebs. A lot of balloons this round. Just trying to save up for a second heli pot. Alright, there we go. Got him. Just a low tier heli pot's all I need. Speed this up. We got enough pot and power as it is. Riga rainbow balloons this round. I'm not super concerned. I'm gonna just try to get a second razor rotors. A camo detecting razor rotors. Part of, me part of me decided I kind of want to, or I could get the the heli pilot that stuns Moebs, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. Gonna activate the Quincy ability, gonna get a second Razor Rotors, and we should be able to hold this off just fine now. Yeah, there we go. Razor Rotors is really strong. Double Camel Technic Razor Rotors would be nice because there's a lot of Camel Ceramics come up in the next round. And now we can just farm. We're gonna get a bunch of plantations, and yeah, we're just gonna farm like crazy. I think it'll be nice. I think my goal is going to be getting five plantations. Then I'll get some stuff like round 49, because that round is actually really tough. Then I'll get an Apache dart ship. Once I get an Apache dart ship, I will be able to confidently defend really nicely. So I'm excited for that. Also realized I could have bought a farm for a while. Wasted a bit of money, but it is what it is. Same up for that plantation. It's not cheap, that's for sure. Trying to get there. Come on, banana farms. Give me that 3760. Or 3670. My bad, had it backwards. Yeah, we'll get there. Keep moving on. You're not so bad. Oh, we can actually get this right now. I don't know how I missed it. Hold off these camels real well. Wave 45 is not that bad. Again, I really think it's round 49 that's the next challenging one. I want a single blade maelstrom by then. I think that'll keep me safe. Blade maelstrom just is like a panic button. We might be able to defend normally, but you never know. It's four to five ceramic balloons. I don't know if our Razor Brothers are enough. Do we need to get Quincy's upgrade? Or ability? It looks like a no for me. Helipods are barely holding off. Nice job, Hellies. What about this round? You know, let's use it this round, just so we can. I haven't used it in so long. I feel like you get some mileage out of it, huh? It's been holding off pretty well, and our helipods are cleaning up real nicely. Like, we're not gonna need it next round, so why the heck not? Definitely saving up for a Blade Maelstrom right now. Gonna get him, I think, back here. On this bend, seems like a good spot for a Blade Maelstrom, and we'll just get it, the, the Maelstrom itself, without any other random upgrades. So now we're just saving it for the Maelstrom. And from there, we can probably try to rush the facility, I bet. The research facility, which costs a, a simple $23,000. That's not expensive. No, not one bit. Fortified ceramics coming in this round. I think we're all right. I like the sound they make when the uh, the fortification ceramic pops. I think that's a cool sound. I like it. So I need about six thousand bucks. Now I can sell all my farms with one and get a nice looking plantation. So I'm gonna get this uh, blade maelstrom just going like right now. It shreds. Look at that guy go. Look at him shred. Gonna activate Quincy's ability just about now too. Help clean up against the ceramics that actually didn't get popped. Our Razor Rotors is do getting the rest of the job done. Can't actually get a facility now, so I'll do this. And I'm not really concerned about these Rainbow Balloons because our Blade Maelstrom will be back. Even if there's a Regrow Farm, Blade Maelstrom will get the job done, clean up excellently. 
And yeah, this, this just has such a fast cooldown. It's really helpful. So I'm gonna get another banana farm. Actually, no, 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 no. First, we're gonna get the better bananas. Then we're gonna save up for... What are we gonna save up for, guys? I'm feeling a Moab Mauler. My Moab Palm Power is pretty shoddy right now. I got Blade Maelstrom for ceramics if they, you know, end up getting overwhelmed. But we need some Moab defense. So let's get that right now. Moab Mo a Launcher. And I think I'll get the... Uh, I don't know if bigger bombs are actually worth it. I think I just want the 0-3 more Mauler's right now. A lot of ceramics coming in. Maybe I'll get a second Maelstrom, I think. Let's just activate this now. And a reasonable-ish timing. Try to get a second Blade Maelstrom if possible. The Blade Shooters themselves also do some pretty okay damage, which I do like. Got Quincy's ability. I think I'll just use right now. Quincy also does three times the damage against more Class Balloons, which, you know, might come in handy every now and then. I am going to go for a second Blade Maelstrom whenever I can, just to have double the defense. Two Blade Maelstroms should be enough to hold off everything? Question mark? I don't know how I am against Camo Ceramics. I'm going to get Night Vision Goggles for a little bit of extra help. Oh, these are very spaced. Okay. Not one bit concerned. Let's get this. Next things next is that we're gonna get a farm. Just so we have farms we can sell in case if, uh, so, so we don't have to sell the facility basically. Uh, let's activate Blood Mills from like right now. If we need to another, you know what, let's just do it just cause we are well off now. Oh, I love what Quincy wants to get. What did Quincy get? Yeah. Base attack bounces up to six targets. Cool, this guy is hauling ass. Love him. Quincy is such a cool tower. Now I think we're actually going to save up for an Apache Dart Ship. That guy's really powerful. Come on. Can activate Quincy's ability at this point in time. I'm going to save the Blade Maelstrom ability for popping Moebs in their innards, I think. Alright, that's good enough. The, uh, these two Razor Rolls will hold off the rest. Saving up for a $21,000 Apache Dart Ship upgrade. Holy bejesus. Do we get a plantation first? Or do we want to just rush the Apache? I'm feeling rushing the Apache. You just want to play it safe. Rush the Apache, then you maybe get some more Moab Maulers, and then I just destroy everything. Son. Maybe we'll get uh, Moab Maulers under a village. That could be really nice. I recently got a good look in some village upgrades that will really help out the Moab Maulers, like Jungle Drums, and some other random stuff, like MIB. Let's activate this Maelstrom building right now. Thin out the crowds. Yes. Activate Quincy ability. Hopes that this does something. Another Maelstrom. Just gotta really thin out the crowd. Do we need more? Defense? I think we're doing okay. A little scary. Yeah, a little sketch. I think I'll sell these actually. What the heck? Um. That was bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Missed micro on my part. I wanted to just get the freaking Apache, guys. I'm going to pretend that never happened because that was that was just stupid. I, I'm spacing out and I'm not going to retry this over and over again. If I was actually like play, paying attention, I would have defended just fine, but uh, that that just simply didn't happen. Like, frick, man. Why is the Apache so expensive? Why does it got to be like that? Oh my god, let me click from the banana farms as well. Alright, at this point in time, what do we need? What do we need, guys? I don't know what I need. Maybe I should have kept the Blade Maelstroms around. The Blade Maelstrom ability could have probably saved me. I don't care. It's too late now. The deed is done. We have our Apache. This guy will keep us alive for basically until round 63. Maybe round 62 might be a trouble. But... Screw it. I'm just... I'm just over tryharding perfection at this point in yeah. time. If I screw up, I'm gonna use a continue and I don't even care. You want some? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Alright, uh, we'll be able to get a second facility really soon too. I don't think I want to sell my second uh, helipod. I could, but I don't want to. Whoops. BFB incoming. All right, we should have be have fine BFB defense. We're gonna activate Quincy's ability right now. All right, fantastic. Patchy dark ship's still good. 
Quincy just level up too. What'd he get? Yes. Oh, we got his second ability. His second ability is so good. We're gonna buy our blade maelstroms back now. We actually technically only need one maelstrom for round um 32, but you know, it pays to be safe. Activate a maelstrom right now too, just to kind of clear out this stuff. We get multiple maelstroms. So we don't get bit in the ass for it. Still can't get a second one though. It's expensive, yo. It really is. We're actually not getting that much money from pop and balloons anymore. We're getting the majority of our money from these farms, which is worth keeping in mind. If I place it, I'll uh, slow that down real quick. I'm gonna probably have to use a millstone to defend here. We're starting a bit of a regrow farm, unfortunately. That's kind of annoying. Hopefully our Apache can still hold off. We're gonna use the Quincy's oh. random ass ability here. Come on. Hold off those freaking gosh. Like jeez. All right, I think we'll have enough pop power to deal with that. We'll have Blade Maelstrom in the back to kind of help clean up. A Double Blade Maelstrom, hopefully well-timed. Double Blade Maelstrom will clean that. There we go, perfect. Excellent. All right, this round, here we go. This round should not be so bad. I could use my arrows this round. Let's see if the Maelstrom ability comes back in time. It doesn't look like it is, so I guess we're doing the arrows? Do we need it? Can uh, Apache actually hold off by itself? I don't know. Okay, we actually hit two waves of ceramics with one set of arrows. That's what I was waiting for. That's why I didn't use it until now. That was actual, actual intentional timing. So, feels good to get that done. And we just got another maelstrom to clean this up, and we should be good to go. So next thing's next. I think we're going to get a, another Apache dart ship. Maybe a village first. Maybe give it a little bit of a boost. Do we need it just yet, or can we keep farming? If I can keep farming, I'm a happy person. We just bought long life bananas. What was me? It's okay. We're, we're gonna get it eventually uh, for the factory, but <laughs> freaking long life bananas. Ah, damn it. A lot of balloons here, actually. Gonna double Maelstrom. Hopes this at least thins down the fortified mobs a bit. Gonna use Quincy's weak ability by the time the mobs get back to him. That should help out quite a bit. I think we'll stay alive. Come on. Let's get it. We got this. We also will have our Maelstrom abilities back in time, just in case, but I'm not worried. We're going to have Quincy level up, increase attack speed. Cool. Maybe I'll actually go for an Apache dart ship. Sister, so get a second Apache. Yeah, double Apache might be smart, huh? Get a double Apache, get the village nearby, so it gets a little attack buff. Maybe get some more Mars, crazy things. Some ceramics up in here. Slow us down real quick. Gotta get a nice maelstrom timing. I prefer to just use one. And these aren't even fortified mobs in BFP, so they should be an easy takedown. I'm not gonna use either of Quincy's abilities, because I'd rather save them for fortified mobs in BFPs. It's a lot more scary. We'll just use double maelstrom here. Easy. So, we can actually go for double Apache, or... We can go for a third facility. Yep. How scary are these rounds get? I actually don't remember these rounds that well. I think the next scary one is round 76. Maybe a little bit before. I don't know. Definitely get a double maelstrom here. Oh, that worked out excellently. Beautifully timed maelstrom. Still a lot of damage to those mobs. All right, I'm feeling a third faci facility. We're greening it out this time. We should be okay, I think. If it hits the fan, we can just get one of Quincy's abilities, but I don't think we'll need it. Yeah, we got this. Alright, there we go. Third facility. Now we're saving up for Apache number two. I like living on the edge, I guess. Even though I've, I, I've been bitten in the ass by it many times, I don't really care. Another monkey knowledge point. Those are classics. Yeah. And this round is not hard. $21,000, though. Why does Apache Darship have to be so expensive? Why does everything have to be so expensive in hard mode? Whatever. <laughs> I, I guess it makes for a nice challenge at the end of the day, right? And isn't that what we all want? I guess so, huh? I do think that this should be enough farms to uh, propel, uh, propel us into getting a quality defense, though. I, I think we should be good with just these. 
Like, I'm always worried that we won't have enough farms, but I really do think this is enough farms. Holy rainbow balloons. Thankfully, these aren't regrow. That would stink. Oh my gosh. Whoops. There we go. Double Apache. Alright, so we're gonna get a village next. We'll get it. Can we get it in between these Apaches? Can we get it surrounded, both of them? I don't think we'd actually fit it up here. So maybe it's not worth getting? Ah, uh, getting a village here isn't a terrible idea. Maybe we can squeeze it in. Nah, looks like we can only fit it, like, right about one pixel right there. Ahem. Alright, down a bit. Screw it, screw it. Good enough. So what are we getting for this, you might be wondering? We're gonna get the jungle drone, which makes my Apache attack a bit faster. Good old 10% faster. Jungle drums is nice, so we'll get some more and mollers up in there as well. We'll also get that thing that makes everything cheaper. Do we have camo? We have camo on darn near everything. Yeah, we'll just get the uh, monkey commerce, then we'll just start buying some bomb towers up in here. We'll get this guy, like, right here. Eventually, uh, we, do we don't have MIB right now. We could get that eventually. Are we going to actually spam more mowers right now? Because we need some more pop and power. We also need some stuff to pop the inside of more. But yeah, we can worry about that later. Apache dart ship spam works. Freaking. I don't know what else works. Blade Maelstrom works for a little bit. There's a point where it stops working though. So I don't want to rely on it forever. Headshot. I'm going to get another freaking village right about here, I guess. And I think I'm going to get this guy to... Jungle drums and camel detection. I think I want camel detection on it. I think I get some use out of it. You want some? Although I should probably place down towers first, Tark, because Quincy already has camel detection. Let's get some more mowers up in here. Because we need more power. We really do. That sounds strong. Alright, doing great. Fortified camo regrow ceramic balloons. Oh, so there's, a, there's just some scary rounds coming up, I know. There's um round 76, which has a lot of region ceramics. I got two blade maelstroms in the back for that. Round 78 with a bunch of camo ceramics, and I got Quincy's ability for that. I could get a blade maelstrom underneath the camo village if I wanted to. I don't want to, so we're not going to get it. Oh, can I fit this here? I can, good. Also should save up for more of assassin, huh? Eventually. Please. I, I swear it could fit. I guess it just can't fit there. Alright, we'll fit this here right now. We'll get the range upgrade. I think that'll come in handy. Do we actually want to get more farms now? Because we're kicking these rounds as uh, butts. Let's try like one more farm. Say screw it. Four facilities will be pretty nice going into hashing if we like him. These shielded mobs are, or fortified mobs are busting my balls right now. Damn, are those strong? Okay, hold on. The balloons also don't regrow in the range of that village, which is kind of cool. All right, double maelstrom cleans it up easily. This round has a lot of BFBs, I believe. Not concerned. I'm really not. What's up? Next thing that could be scary is maybe a ZLMG? I don't know if I could beat a ZLMG or not. We will see. I'm gonna just get a Blade Maelstrom going. That was a decent chunk of blooms there. Alright, 75 ceramic blooms in a tiny space. Let's f what happens? The, the answer is that uh, Maelstrom destroys the crap out of it, that's what. Let's just get that off right now. What next? Four facilities. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Feels good to be getting that done. Four facilities out of the way. Next thing I have to worry about is the OMG, like I said. Probably just more and more spam will be nice. Maybe another Apache dark ship so we just have more generic good pop and power that cleans up the innards of all this shenanigans. I think that could be a good plan. I'll also consider trying to get like a super monkey or something like that. Although I don't know how well that will work out for me. So I gotta think of where I can fit my helipods. I gotta plan out a good looking village spot. I'm also gonna activate Quincy's ability right now. Look at that. 
Look at that destruction. I'm also going to get the um, the faster firing Apache dart ships. That way I can just get a camel village and have my Apache dart ships be shooting super fast. It's really nice. I love it. So radar scanner will be next on the list. Because the fast firing Apache dart ship is just disgustingly powerful, guys. It really is. We also get, also get the Mon Monkey Intelligence Bureau, and that will have purposes that we will be revealed at a later time. You guys will see why that is important in almost no time, really. Give me that Razor Rotors. Freaking Regro Balloons, though. You can just activate Quincy's weaker ability. So why not? These are fortified BFBs? Is that right? Is that so? That's actually not too much of a challenge. They're strong, though. I do admit, they take a long time to take down. Mol Molars help a buttload, though. All right, ZOMG time. Let's f let's pass hard for real. ZOMG incoming! Whoa! Holy cow! No way! Oh, but you also get military training or primary training. I don't know what that is. All right, free play time. We're moving on. We're finally going to beat this, uh, what should we call it? The freaking BAD, the bad. Wish me luck, guys, because we are going to keep moving on. We're going to just keep spamming Apache dart ships. We're going to spam Mole and Mars. We're going to get some other crazy stuff as well. Another Apache dart ship. Look at that guy go. Wait, this guy wasn't an Apache dart ship? Oh, damn, I had a Razor Rose this whole time. I guess I can get another Apache Dark Ship real soon, then. Is that all you got? What's up? Thankfully, it's actually not lagging too much yet. Part of it was wordy. It was, like, going to lag a lot in late game. We're getting a little bit of stutters right now, but I think that's because my iPad isn't charging or something like that. It doesn't seem to take away from the gameplay too much. All right, so I'm saving up for a... Monkey Intelligence Bureau, by the way, if you guys are wondering. That guy is going to be my savior. And you guys will see why very shortly. It allows any towers underneath it to pop any type of balloons. And you might be thinking, wait a second, isn't there another new blimp in this game besides the BAD, the bad? And you would be right if you were thinking that. I'm not going to say what it is. You've seen it before. It's a classic blimp. It's actually a pretty fun one. Pretty cool one. But we gotta wait for it. Because I know it comes around around 90 or so. I knew that from when I did my round 90 run that uh that got corrupted. 95, my bad. Alright, another Apache Dark Ship up there. Let's see, can we put one in this tight area? Or do we have to go for like a village? I think we have to go for a village. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this like here. In a village like here? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get the uh, bigger radius. I'm gonna get this. We're gonna get quad darts pursuit and everything. And we'll keep her moving. We're taking out ZOMGs and everything real handily right now, which is what I like. You gotta love that. I'm gonna save up for yet another Apache dart ship. I think after this Apache dart ship, I'll start going ham on more molars and MIBs. I forgot about the MIBs. I don't need this spike factory now. I'm going to just sell them. It's not really doing much for me. Plus, I don't really have upgrades I can buy at the back. They'll make it worth it. I have the Moab Shredder spikes, which are really good at the front, but not at the back. So keep that in mind. Oh, if you tap on the upgrade, it actually gives us... Oh, my gosh. Five crates of 300. Whoa. How did I not know that? Five crates. Cool. So I get actually close to like $2,000 around for my facilities because the crates get closer to 400 A little bit less, but still almost that. Okay, so I get like $8,000 around from my banana farms. That's actually not that much. What if I get another farm? No, it's too late now. It is too late now. We are committing, boys. We are going to get... Uh, what are we going to get? We're going to sell this, I think. And we're going to get an MIB like here. And the jungle drums as well, because jungle drums is neat. 
But I definitely want an MIB. 100% want it. These rounds are insane, though. So much nonsense going on. Like, this is what people love about Bloom's Tower Defense. Just the insane cluster of blooms that just show up on screen and how crazy late game gets. It actually looks nice. It feels nice. It plays nice. It's a lot of fun. Like, honestly, you guys are going to enjoy this late game. Almost guaranteed. Oh, I can get Morb Assassin. I actually think I'm going to get that. Give me a Morb Assassin. How much does that cost? 34? Uh, is that worth getting now? I might be better off just buying more 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 still. Maybe one assassin? Just just to see how much damage it does? It says special extra damage to more class balloons. So it doesn't, doesn't say exactly how much. If I had to guess, I bet it's 1,000. But I don't really know for sure. I think I'll get bigger bombs. I don't know whether I want bigger bombs or extra range. Like, it's such a tough call. Maybe this guy would have been better for extra range, but oh well, I guess. Alright, so I got all these abilities sitting around now. What's a DDT, you ask? Like a Moab crossed with a pink camel and lead balloon in all the bad ways. That's right, guys. DDTs are in Bloom C6. You guys remember DDTs from Bloom's Monkey City? Well, they're back, and they are tough. They gave me a struggle last time I made it this far. DDT, so hopefully, going. with the power of the MIB, we'll take it down. And take it down, we are doing. Oh, that is so much better. Oh my gosh. Before, last time I tried that, I actually had to do a continue because the DDCs were so challenging. I also didn't have MIB, so that's probably why I was losing so much. But geez, it's just so hard. Uh, let's keep getting some more more and mores. More and mores are good DDT pop power. Get some extra range on this guy. We get some bigger bombs on this guy. Get some extra range. Still could get like another Morb Assassin. Morb Assassin may help against the DDT. It also might help against the bad. I think I should have done range instead of bigger bombs. Oh well. Whoa, I missed out on so many crates. <laughs> oh, good thing we have long blade bananas to help us, right? So, what do we want to do against the balloons inside all these blimps? Do we just let our Apache dart ships take care of the. get the job done? We might. Alright, let's get a MIB here as well. So we can have all these more molars be extra powerful. ZOMG incoming! <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, game. That is ZOMG isn't coming. It's a shame. It's a shame we would have to hear that all the way through. I mean, there's probably a way to turn off the narration. But if you forgot to turn it off... Actually, hold on. Can I, I guess I could turn off sound effects. I don't really care too much. I really don't. But if you were, like, going for a late game record, you would hear that so many times. Like, it'd be, cr it'd, it'd be pretty funny how many times you end up hearing it in one game. Like, hundreds, maybe thousands. Alright, thankfully we haven't seen any fortified ZOMGs yet. That would be scary. Let's use a Morb Assassin. Alright, that did, like, nothing. <laughs> uh, don't care. Alright, so I think I actually yes. going to go for a helipot. Whoa, okay. Level 18. Storm of arrows has reduced cooldown. 50% more arrows and faster attack speed. That is insane! Quincy is absolutely ridiculous right now. Like, his power is just nuts. Let me see how fast the cooldown is. Oh, crap. Whoa, DDTs. Yeah, good thing I did that. The, the arrows just destroyed those DDTs. Holy cow. That's awesome. Let's get a... Where's my helipot? Helipot, hello? Wanted to get one like here, under the range of this village. Save up for another patchy dart ship, you know how I do. Made around 94. These rounds are getting so long right now, it's absolutely ridiculous. <gasps> Hopefully I don't crash, I don't think I will. And I really hope the bad comes on round 100. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait even longer. All right, another patchy dart ship. Look at this nuts bottom power. Oh, I didn't actually pay attention to the abilities cooldown. It does seem faster, but it still, still seems like a really long cooldown. I'm gonna do Quincy's other ability too. That, Quincy has a lot of pop power in general, so I assume that ability is pretty strong. We don't necessarily need it. It's just, you know, I kind of like using it against all these DMGs. We get some more more of assassins if we want. I don't, I don't know what I want. Maybe another helipot. Or, 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 we could try to get a super monkey going. 
get him like right here. I believe he's in the range of the village and we can get laser blasts. Holy crap, what an amazing upgrade. I hope to unlock more of the Super Monkey later because right now he's slacking on his upgrades. It's pretty bad how little my Super Monkey has. Why a boat? There's no water on this map. How do I even drag a boat? Yeah, Mog Assassin. DDT is coming in. We'll just rain some arrows. Look how fast these guys are. Like, holy crap. Oh my gosh, they'll stop coming. Yo. Yo, yo. Yo, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Take it easy. DDTs, please. Oh my gosh. They're not stopping. Whoa. Hey, chill out. DDTs, please. Hopefully my patches can hold this off. This is scary close. We are barely alive right now. There's like 50 DDTs. <laughs> we are going to take the down just barely at the exit right there. And then we got a lot of fortified mods to deal with as well. I think we'll be all right. That is just nuts, guys. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Gosh. These rounds are scary hard. Level of Quincy again. Each arrow gets more pop and power. And then level 20 is uh, another just Storm of Arrows buff. The Storm of, Storm of Arrows is so cool. Whoops, I messed up the placement. That's supposed to be within the range of the village. There we go. Hopefully it's not a crap ton more DDTs. Because those are hard. Like, holy cow, those are just kicking my ass. Turns out we needed more farms, because we're actually not getting that much money to defend. Like, I'm trying to spam the towers, but I'm just constantly running out of money. Maybe I should get rid of the Blade Maelstroms. Those guys aren't really doing much for me at all. Just kind of look ugly. Well, not look ugly. They actually do look kind of nice. Just really not doing much like at all. We'll just spam more more Maulers. Maybe more of Assassins as well. You never know when we need it. Alright, wave 97 come up. Let's get some more assassins. Let's get bigger bombs in this guy, too. Bigger bombs for sure. Heavy bombs. Heavy bombs just so it explodes more. Hits more per shot. I think that's how it works. Can't afford this. Save up. Oh, first fortified ZOMG. We're gonna use all our more assassin abilities on it. Two of them. Holy crap, that's hard. Is that all you got? Um, I don't know. Okay, we took that one. Alright, we got this, guys. Whew. These balloons are really scaring me. <laughs> Giving me a real challenge building up to round 100, I gotta say. This is the most fun I've had to go in late game in a long time, though. Going late game for, like, the first time in a fresh new environment is so nice, though. Like, th there's not many comparisons to it. In balloons games, anyways. Can I place these anywhere? That all you got? Crap, I don't know what to do with the rest of my defense. Like, I'm starting to run out of space. Maybe some more Morb Assassins? I feel like I just need more generic Morb Bomb Power. Maybe another Apache Dart Ship. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Another Apache Dart Ship. We'll get him, like, here-ish. This corner. Look at the village, like, right next to it. Where's the village? Right there. Come on. Oh boy. Come on. Holy crap, that's a lot of balloons. I can't even talk right now. I'm too focused on what's going on. This is so many mobs. Holy crap. I don't know if I have enough firepower to deal with all the ceramics inside. Do I have this? I think my Apache dart ships are barely holding off. Oh my gosh. They're making it so far, though. Wounds are making it disgustingly far. <gasps> no, no! Oh my gosh, I want to save the ability for the last second, but frick, man! That is absolutely nuts. So many balloons. We made it to wave 98. Can we continue? Can we? Can we? I don't, I don't have enough monkey money. Ah. All right, just kidding, guys. We ended up actually buying the... <laughs> we ended up buying ourselves a continue. We bought some monkey money with real life money because I'm like, screw it. We've made it so far. We can't give up now. We, can't, we have to. We have to try to beat this. So we're going to give this an honest shot in hopes that we can just beat this uh, bad or at least 
get to round 100. If we get to round 100 and there's no bad, then I guess it, it just wasn't meant to be. But I think we can make this work. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to buy a bunch of Flame Maelstroms just down here. A bunch of them. Go crazy on that. Also got the glue helping us out quite a bit. Maybe even a Blade Maelstrom like in here if we can fit it. No, actually, here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to get the Cluster of Cluster Bombs. So we got a massive glue setup. Two glue hoses. That should be enough for like all the ceramics, right? Then this bomb tower. These bomb towers in the back will just totally destroy everything else. I really hope this is how it works. Alright, gonna throw out a bunch of abilities right now. Gotta do that to just get the damage. Hoping the abilities come back soon. You can only use two blade maelstroms at a time and kind of just do them in alternating. I'm even gonna throw down the arrows right now because I think that'll come in handy. I think it'll come back within this round too. The, the cooldown is slow, but this round is really long, so I think we'll be able to get it twice in a round. All right, give me the give me the heavy bombs. There we go. Awesome. We haven't knocked down any ZLMGs yet, I don't think. Maybe one ZLMG. At most, we knocked down one ZLMG. These guys are so strong. It's absolutely ridiculous how strong these guys are. All right. Activate all my maelstrom. Or, uh... Oh, okay. We actually knocked down all the ZLMGs right now. Oh, that's not good. See, look at these maelstroms, though. They just don't handle the uh, fortified ceramics that well. It's just not a great combo. I'm gonna just try to buy more blade maelstroms and hope this does something. Maybe it will. Maybe the abilities to come back in time? Come on. Why is the ability cooldown so slow? God. Freak this, man. All right, bunch of ceramics in here. All right, you got this. You got this, Blade Maelstroms. Glue? Yes. I am the best. Quincy is the best. You see I said max level. Yes. Storm of arrows increased damage rail and even more arrows. Sick. We beat that round. All right, we got 15 yeah, abilities. This better, this better do something. All right, here they come. Get this going. Gotta throw out all these assassins. Throw out these arrows. Throw out the assassins. Six blade maelstroms. Oh, we got it. Yes, ability spam for the win. That was round 99, now what? Why well, doesn't it say anything for round 100? It's not saying anything for round 100. There's nothing special happened around 100. We don't even get a congratulations from Ninja Kiwi. We were like, yo, you made it to triple digits. Maybe, oh, here it is. The bad, the big airship of doom. It's big, it's slow, and incredibly hard to take down. Okay, wow. That's nutty. All right, you're not kidding. That is big and slow. Actually, I should leave it on slow speed. Just the whole, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I need. I need my abilities to recharge. I got a bunch of more assassins. That actually put in some de a decent chunks of damage against that. I'm actually gonna sell my farms, go all in on just trying to spam defense. Let's just get some more assassins going like crazy. I don't know what's gonna spawn though. 26 more assassins, let's get it. What's it spawn? Show me what it spawns. It spawns two ZMGs and some other random stuff. That's it, just two ZMGs. Two ZMGs are easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, we totally got this. Two ZMGs with the easiest defense of my life. Yes! Enjoy your reward. What do I get? Do I have to press this to. I don't, I, I don't think I got a reward. That was weird. Either way, we beat the bad. I guess we might as well play it out. The chances are we're not going to defend for much longer, even with all these abilities. It's, this is absolutely nutty, though. Just look at this crazy ability stormage go. I'll just maybe even get like a, more, some more, more assassins. Like, I have nothing else to do with all my money. Let's just spam these all over the map and maybe see how long we last. Why not? One of these. Just leave it on first because I'm too lazy to retarget. Maybe some bigger bombs as well. I guess bigger bombs are pretty helpful if they like smack them in the center here. Alright, let's go. Round 101. Are we gonna see another bad? Or is it just that is it just round 100? Just like spooky milestones. I assume we'll get to see more of these eventually. I just don't know when. I think it's more of assassin army just go. Oh DDTs. Definitely get a more of assassin those. Both tests are great against DDTs. Yes, they are. Holy fortified ceramics, Batman. Headshot. Not gonna lie, we actually got a pretty good defense. We can last for a while. Whoa, we might lose! 
What? Oh How God. fast was that? Holy crap, that was so fast. We actually died to ceramics, right? So the ceramics, they were camel ceramics. So my glue couldn't see them, which really screwed me. I, I didn't even think that one through. <laughs> And my helipods weren't fast enough to chase it down. All right, we're officially done. Too many d damn continues. I I can't even at this point. Uh, thanks for sticking with uh, me all the way through this. This has been a ridiculous adventure, and that is the bad. So there's a big, giant purple bump spawns to the old Jesus. Actually, honestly, seems easier than DDTs. DDTs are nutty, insanely strong. I don't even know how I'm supposed to beat that. Let's uh, let's get some achievements. Got a hero to level 20. Awesome. Free monkey money. I could use that. Now we're done. Thanks so guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's BT6 video. Peace out.